Nathan Clark, Domination Nation Gym. I've got a great accessory workout for you today. I'm gonna to put you through some abs, calves, and arms. An accessory workout I sometimes do uh, when I do full body workout routines. So we're gonna do three rounds of a giant set for your abs, okay? The first exercise is gonna be hanging leg raises. I'm gonna do 15 to this, each side for the obliques and then 15 straight on. I like to do them in pairs of five. This is kind of a, a nine foot rack, so I gotta use a chair to help me up. So what I'm trying to do here, guys, is not use any momentum. I like to use this bar right about my waist. This helps me make it more into an ab exercise as opposed to a hip flexor exercise. I'm really trying to start with my abs fully elongated and to full contraction. So we're going to move right on to the second exercise of this uh, giant set. I'm going to do it at a glute ham raise machine. I'm going to do actually partial uh, uh, sit-ups with weight. So I'm going to do five, 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 and five, three times. So a total of 15 reps to each side and 15 reps to the center. I'm trying to actually stick my chin up to the ceiling. Oh, oh brutal. Next part is going to be an ab machine. Uh, one of my favorites, the hoist rocket. Um, we're going to do 15, 15, and 15. So the nice thing with this one is you can do obliques and you can do straight on rectus abdominis. A lot of people do this machine way wrong. Um, it's not this motion here. It's literally tucking your belly button in and this motion here. That's, that's all the range of motion is. All this is doing is putting compression on your spine. So watch how I do this. Very small range of motion. I'm letting my abdominals initiate and squeezing in. Literally thinking about tucking my belly button in as hard as I can. So I'm not moving it with my arms, I'm not moving it with my legs. It's my abs that's moving it. Really small range of motion. And then the middle. Tuck those abs in as hard as you can. My arms and legs aren't really moving at all. My abs are pulling my legs up. Oh. Oh, the neck wheel. If you have one of these, these are fantastic, but a lot of people do this wrong. Do this from your knees as opposed to your toes, even though you seem stronger to do that, all it's gonna do is hurt your lower back. It's the same thing with this. The range of motion is actually much smaller than you think. A lot of people just sit out here and do this. All you're doing at this point is putting stress on your lower back. This is the range of motion. Let the wheel take you out and let your abs pull you in. Suck your abs in hard as you can. Now what I'm going to do is, you can do it for reps, but I do it for 60 seconds of time, okay? Try to let my abs bring my arms in. I'm not pulling my arms back, I'm tucking my abs in, squeezing them in as hard as I can. So that's one round, guys. I'm gonna 60 seconds rest right now, and I'm gonna do it again and again. Um, amazing, amazing way to hit your abs.
That calves was extreme, guys. I got one more uh, awesome. Uh, we're gonna work arms now. Now this is this is absolutely phenomenal. One of my best ways. Depend on how much you can tolerate pain, you will absolutely love this because uh, it's very painful. Um, we're doing occlusion training. I'm gonna do ten sets back to back to back, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. Now I've only worked my arms once this week. That's the only reason I can do this. Unless you're on a boatload of hormones, I would only do this once in a while. Um, very extreme. I just love this because it pushes the barrier of, of pain. So the idea is to do as many reps as you can each time, okay? This is my Nautilus bicep machine, one of the finest there is. The seat's all the way down and I've got a pillow on my back to give me more of a pre-stretch. Now I've only got 90 pounds of weight on here. That's all you're going to need. <clears throat> Now I'm at my Nautilus tricep machine, which is the sister machine of that. Only 90 pounds on the machine. Again, my seat's all the way down. I've got a cushion behind my back because it gets me much more of a pre-stretch, okay? You've got to try this. It is absolutely insane way of training. Now that's only one set. I've got 30 seconds, and then I'm going right back again. What set are you in? Uh, fourth set, guys. Oh, this is so extreme. You have to declare war on pain. You have to convince your mind there is no pain. That's it, guys. It's only five sets. I got five more. How in the world am I going to do that? Seven set, guys. I've had to drop two pounds. Oh. Ah! 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 Guys. This is where we separate the pretenders from the contenders. It's just all out war at this point. I can't feel my hands. Just numbness. There's no way I'm stopping. Yeah. Yeah. guys my hands are still kind of numb still getting sensation back if that's too extreme for you I'd try six sets instead of ten I've kind of worked my way up to ten sets there's kind of a point of no returns so I wouldn't do more than ten 
Um, the idea is to try to increase the volume and decrease the time of rest in between there. But either way, it will absolutely stretch your minds of what's possible. If you can get through that, um, it's an amazing feeling. You feel an air of invincibility almost. Um, hope you love that accessory workout. I've got some more great workouts to come your way to push your body to and beyond whatever limits you think that you have because there are no limits only in your mind. I really truly believe that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.